with chain i think we have had every kind of conversation he used to make sure like you know i sit next to him no matter where like you no know, let be in the bus let be in the flights let be in the dressing room he used to come sit next to me and he used to make sure like you know i have a good space and yeah we used to talk about everything I always believed in myself. I never doubted myself for my ability to play a uh, uh, higher format of, uh, of the game. Uh, let it be uh, any game I played. I gave my uh, more than hundred percent. I always wanted to win from no matter where, wherever we play. But yeah, like you know, when I got picked for RR in 2018, uh, it was something which was very, very special. And uh, yeah, 2018, I think it, it, it was a lot of dreams which had uh, which, which came true for me. and my family so yeah a lot of thing goes into it yeah. and when uh, shane told me that you know uh, i'm going to be his project for the this year's ipl i felt really nice uh, he saw me for the second time uh, we were having a open net and then uh, i see the legend walking up to me and he was like uh, kg you're going to be my project for the uh, this year's ipl and i felt really nice about it and uh, i think that is where uh the thing clicked on and uh, we became uh, really close when uh, someone like him come up to you and like you know address you by kg and and i had no second thought i like immediately i called yash and i'm more than glad to be your project so yeah the project what he was talking about was uh, he always like i think he he saw me and a lot of feeds were given to him about uh, what kind of a character i was and what kind of a cricketer i was so he wanted the best to come out of me he wanted uh, me to be fearless he wanted me to just go and express i think that is what is like you know it's helped me in a lot of ways uh, it's helped me uh, let it be professionally let it be personally i got a little more confident and little more like uh, I could take on anything. I could take on anything. The way he spoke to me about things, the way he handled things when was when it was up and down. Which in, I think we have had every kind of conversation. I think we used to have like uh, he used to make sure like you know I sit next to him no matter where like you know let be in the bus, let be in the flights, let be in the dressing room. He used to come sit next to me and he used to make sure like you know I'm in a good space. And yeah, we used to talk about everything, just not about cricket. It's about he used to he used to be a big poker player. He used to be a very good guy, like you know, very big poker poker player in UK. So he used to show about like you know, show off his cars, like you know, his mansion, what he had. So yeah, a lot of things. Uh, see, uh. when chain like yeah it, it was sad like you know i i could i could i could i couldn't I, actually i couldn't believe it that you know he passed away like he was full of life and he is someone who uh, uh probably uh now also if i give him a chance like let's just get him back kind of a thing he, he was it was more than a more than a cricketer i think you know it uh, the way we uh, we gelled together the way we the conversations what we had the, it was something which uh, which i can't forget and uh, like every like you know whenever we do i can do well or whenever whatever so there were exchange of messages and then thinking of that that person is not going to reply to you anymore it hurts uh, it does get me thinking about it it does uh, make me feel really bad but i think he he lived his life he did have he did he just did what his heart said and what his mind said he never thought twice he just lived his life to the fullest